If you install VirtualBox on XOS through this package system, when starting a machine, you will get this error. That's because there is a procedure how to install VirtualBox. Luckily, that procedure is described on their wiki page. So basically, you have to enable a virtualization, add user to a specific group, and you have to add extensions. And there is a part for guest additions. So this is for the host, and this is for the guest. Host is the computer that is running VirtualBox, and guest is the actual virtual machine. You don't have to have this installed on your guest. So you can just copy paste that in your configuration file. Of course, I will delete this one. And you can paste this, for instance, to the end of your config file. But I won't be doing that. I will be using so-called modules. And by modules, uh, Nix consider every Every Nix file to be one module. So I created two files, one for the host, one for the guest. To create an Nix uh, module, you put this at the beginning, and in here you put everything depending what you will put in here, and then you have these squirrely brackets, and inside you write everything you want. So for the host, I copied this file. I didn't put this in because I already had that from the installation in my configuration file, and this line I have already from here, and that leaves me with just this part to add, as, to add for the extensions. In the guest file, I put all these options. Here it says only two of them. Actually, what you need is just this line, but this is added functionality, so you can drag and drop files from your host and guest. And I added a so, clipboard, and this is one option that I will show you in another video. And here you can see all the options that you can have. You look at uh, the guest options, you click on the link, and it will tell you what your options are. And in order for your configuration file to know that these two files exist, you have to add them into this imports part. So you just type in these two lines. And the reason why I put this into separate files is because currently I'm on a virtual machine and I don't need a virtual box to be installed and I can just comment this out. And it will install only the guest options. And this you can do with any software in NixOS. And in this workflow, you can really decide what you want to install on one computer and what not with the ease of just commenting out stuff we don't want. In the future, I will probably put all my software in a, this little Nix files just so I don't have the clutter in my configuration file. And then when you save the file, you just start rebuild switch, just like any change in the configuration file. And then you just wait until it's done. And when this is done, you can just start normally your machine and it will run properly. And for the end, just a little updates from the last time I recorded the video. KD Plasma 621 came out. The thing that I noticed is that I get a lot of crashes of, I don't know, applications or processes or whatever, but I get that dialog box where you can send crash report. I forgot to take a screenshot of any of them. And of course, when I started recording, none of this would happen. Also, local send now works. I didn't do anything. I, like I said, I waited a day or two, upgraded the system and it just worked without any problems. If you use Rustdesk, install this package, Rustdesk Flutter, because when I installed this one, uh, keyboard didn't work for me. Mouse worked normally, but keyboard nothing. And if you are using SyncThing, I installed this package and SyncThing tray and I use this package because this one didn't actually work for me. This one works without a problem. And one more thing, when I start the start menu and I have all these favorites, when I click on the icon at the beginning, it works. But then after a while, when I go to start menu and here I'm on my laptop, so it's not virtual machine thing. When I click on the icons, nothing happens. I can come here and start application this way, but my favorites don't work. I'm just clicking and nothing happens. And these are all the news I have for this video. The next plans are to activate Flakes and then Home Manager and then go from there. And that's all.